Yep, it's the TE40 back on the bench. It won't let me go, or I won't let it go. I'm not sure which one it is, but um, I had this neck off of the TE40 number one that I had leveled. And then um, after I did all the work on this one from the last video, I'm thinking, why is it still choking out? And so I got it off again. Right? And I'm looking down the neck and I'm thinking, damn, you know, it doesn't seem level. Um, it seems like the fingerboard is not even. It's a little bit curved on the top. And I'm thinking, wow, well, man, I don't know. And then I took the other one. And I was looking at it and I'm going, oh, it's the same. It's got a curve right down the top of this thing. So I spent some time a couple of days ago and I ground down the middle of the frets on this one. I was thinking of maybe swapping everything over here and, uh, and see if that'll work to make it stop choking out. The fretboard is still you know, but it's curving this way. So I'm thinking if it's higher on the treble side and it's curving this way and I took a lot of meat off of here, maybe when I bring the string up, it won't choke out. So that's my thinking. Who knows if it'll work. And then I also have to do something, you know, with the nut on this one because um, this nut is gone. And I had to make this one work and build a shim to put in there. Uh, I don't relish the idea of doing all that work again. But I'm going to see what may or may not be able to be done with it. Stand by. So I decided before going and taking off the neck to level these back end frets, frets a little bit more, flatten them off, level them in themselves, and take it down sort of like a fall away. And see if that'll do it before I go the other route. So now all I have to do is get all my sandpapers out and recrown these back end frets. And that way all I have to do is hook up the, the neck again and uh, give it a shot. And if that doesn't work, well then, okay, jump to the other one. But I might be able to minimize the amount of effort today by just doing this. I've flattened these off quite a bit. There's one, two, three, six, seven. Seven of these uh, came down quite a bit. And then, you know, this one only had a little bit at the end. Uh, again, just a tad, just a scuffing. Here the, there was a little bit more at the end, but then the last one wasn't even touched. So here, 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 and here, and now all down here. Uh, the flat file never the flat file meaning this um, this thing I got off of Timu it's a a 400 grit uh, diamond file I can't remember what I paid for it but there were other grades and I'm gonna go back on there and see if I can find some more because um, I think it's doing as good a job as a standard uh, beam, a leveling beam that's the word even, you know, it doesn't have to be a beam. It just has to be straight. And um, and they make them this size. And I thought, let me give this a shot. Because, I mean, it's a really fine uh, 400 uh, diamond. Work, and it worked out really good. It made the tops really, really smooth. Um, so the, the roughness that usually happens with the coarser sandpaper, like the two, like what, what, what I normally use there? Well, yeah, 220 to go across the top. Uh, cuts in a lot deeper. So this is a little bit smoother on the top, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier to do the uh, the crowning. I've made it to the steel wool stage. I certainly hope that this work will achieve results that will make it fully playable with bends on the strings. We will see. As 
only a couple left to go. They're looking good. All right. I think this is shiny enough. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to have to go through uh, cleaning up the gook off of this stuff. So give me a sec. We'll see where we go. Okay, I'm even going to be optimistic enough to put some more oil on it. Whether whether or not I know it works at this point doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this just in case. Just in case. I have to swing all this around. And uh, get it back in place here. strings doing. Put a little bulldog clip on that to hold them in place. Oh, I wanted to tell you about this. The heel uh, is a little bit wider than a standard 2 and 3 sixteenths of fender and on a fender the corners are squared off a bit more and these are rounded and I tried one of my my spare fender Telecaster next which is square it doesn't, well, it's narrow, and it doesn't fit in the pocket properly because the pocket is also rounded. And I see I have my dirty hands all over everything, even before I wash them, I guess, so. Uh, 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 uh. All right. I did wash them. Okay. Okay, I... Broke the high E string as usual when you're doing up and down there too many times. The B string is working. Oh. oh, I'm still getting something around there. Okay, so it looks like I'm on the right track. Looks like I'm on the right track, but it's not there yet. Looks like there's a few more down in this area I'm going to have to go after. And then it may just work. You know, this is my fault that I didn't check a little further back while I had it open before. Ah, I was so eager to get to the end. I was uh, not in my full faculties of checking a couple of frets backwards as well. So now we got to do it again. This area I had to touch one, two, three, the four frets here all got touched. And so we're going to do our best. Get them done. All right. Let's see if we have any trouble here. No. Okay. Let's see what happens when I get the tape off. Good. Oh, I got a tiny rock. Shit. Oh man. There's some bad words coming. Well, it turned out to be at least two because once I took meat off of one, then the other one became high. And this is where you run the risk of chasing. Because once you take meat off of one, then the possibility of the next set having been higher if it was previously leveled is a distinct possibility which is what happened here so let's uh, hope I don't have to chase another one okay I fixed that one and uh, I didn't have to chase anything on either side so huh we'll go for another try but I got dirt 
in the rosewood green, if it's rosewood. Should I give it another touch of oil? I'm really tired of giving this thing the benefit of the doubt. I have been uh, having thoughts of the fire pit again like I did uh, <laughs> with number one. Alright. Nobody can say I didn't give this the best shot it ever had. That's for sure. It's not choking. Showing promise. Guess we'll put that on. All right. The string is on. She's tuned up. She's still in there. I thought it was tuned up. Oh! So, apparently there's nothing I can do to stop this. And the relief is good. Well, disappointing. I think a long break to clear my mind is in order. 